Hello ladies and gentlemen, so today I am here with another video and it's going to be my highlighter collection. But before I get into my highlighters, I want to do a taste test. Today I went to one of the most popular Lithuanian candy shops to buy my favorite Rivani chocolate. It's 99%, it's really good for you. And I was just scrolling around, maybe I'll see something else. And then I saw a shitload of candy from my childhood. And I love chewing gum. So I bought this. Thumbs up if you remember where is that. I have the saliva coming through my mouth right now. I bought this to see if I can handle this. Because I remember it used to be quite sour. So... time to go through that chewing gum because it's so sour and then it's sweet and then you kind of hate it but you kind of like it I don't know so I want to show you my highlighters and I will start with the best one and it's from Slick you saw this many times and in every single video you can see that I'm using this one all I can say that it is really nice. It has one creamy shade. I hope the mirror is not blinding you. So like this. You have one creamy shade and then you have really light one and then you have golden and this color. This color in highlighters is quite popular at the moment. I don't know why. But yeah. Purple tones make you look more fresh. So if you need more freshness, just find a purple highlighter. The pigmentation is really, really sharp. So if you like something more subtle, uh, I wouldn't really suggest buying this. But if you like this blinding highlighter, then yeah, go for it. My second favorite is Mary Luminizer, obviously. I think I mentioned this before as well. This is not as sharp as the sleek one but it still kind of gives you this strong Beyonce or JLo glow. And my eye is watering again. I don't know what's wrong with it. Today I did this makeup and I really liked it. I still like it. And then I went outside to meet my brother and then I just started crying and pouring tears and I don't know what to do. I can't, I can't wear makeup because I start crying and everything just... Oh god, problems. I will show you this one. Sorry for the songs. From Gerard Cosmetics. And I love this. I love this so much. I can't even tell you how much I love it. Uh, it's Give Plus Illumination Cream. So basically, you can apply this to clean skin if you like, or you can use it as a highlighter on the highest points of your face. Um, I bought this because I wanted something that I could use before I apply my foundation to give that glow from the inside and this is so beautiful. I want all of you to buy this. Please. Oops, I'm showing the wrong side. Okay. It is gorgeous. My new favorite is this one from NYX Away With Glow. I showed this as well in my previous Lithuanian video so for those who saw it you know that I really like it. Um, I don't really like creamy or liquidy consistency highlighters or blushes. This is an exception because uh, it doesn't make your foundation go away. It doesn't leave any patches. I find that High Beam by Benefit just makes your foundation disappear and it makes you look patchy. That's why I never use it. I use it if I want to put a little bit of it in a foundation. 
um, to make my foundation more um, glowy, if you could say. But in general, I just don't like high beam. I don't like the way it looks. So yeah, and this um, it's really light, and you can layer it as well. And the color is really beautiful. And I know that all. YouTube gurus are just rambling about this. Okay, and moving on to another highlighter is new, and you saw this as well, is by LA Girl. It is so beautiful. So, so beautiful, honestly. This is one of those highlighters that give you really, really nice and sharp highlight, but it doesn't make you too much, you know what I mean? It's Kind of settle at the same time but you have that nice nice glow and another favorite is this Arby's Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator uh, I got these because summer is coming and um, I really like when this part of your body your color bones are glowy and your shoulders are glowy so these are perfect the difference between these two is that this is more chunky this is more subtle um, you can obviously see chunks of highlight when you use that one so you either need to set it with something else on top or you can use it all over your body but I mean they are really good as well and they don't make your foundation go away I have another highlighter and this is by Dior I got it last year uh, in spring 2016 spring and it was limited edition um, but I was using it constantly for more than half a year every single day or at least not every single day but the days when I used to wear makeup and the packaging is really nice and sleek and really uh, feminine and stylish you know what I mean and it's quite heavy as well and then another gorgeous product is by NYX again but what I want to say about this thing about this palette that it's a bargain because you get seven highlighters such a good pigmentation and the price is a joke um, it's like 13 euros or seven, 13 to 17 euros something like that but you get seven highlighters and you can use them as an eyeshadow uh, as a highlight uh, use on your collarbones use it whatever you want and this is I'm telling you this is amazing you need to go to the shop and swatch it I mean for the price that you pay it's so good wow. goodie all the products I think it was my first highlighter I got it okay it's kind of old right now I can admit that but I think it's still okay to use on my nose I got it in Selfridges uh, when I lived in London and it was one of my first highlighters and I remember just rocking the looks with it every single day. Now for me it's a bit too yellow. Another one is the one that I use the least is by NYX and it's Duo Chromatic Illuminating Powder. Uh, I use it the least because of its color but it's such a nice highlighter um, meaning that it's different it's different in color you won't find something like this anywhere else but you need to think well before using it and I found that this works the best uh, when being used with this NYX uh, Bright Idea highlighting stick your skin looks so hydrated and so nice so I really like this as well but it kind of makes your foundation like disappear and gives you that patchiness so just be careful and um, another strange thing that I found with this uh, Bright Idea stick is that it looks amazing when you don't wear any foundation when you wear this on its own it looks so beautiful 
and my super super gorgeous adorable cheap nice everything all good pigmented highlighter is from Revolution Cosmetics uh, it's like three pounds it's around five euros here I'm not sure for this price this is so nice you will see this swatch right now this is gorgeous I can't ramble enough if you are from Lithuania you can find this in uh, Constitutio's Cross Office in the cup shop in the third floor Eurocos. and this is the same product just different color and this color I think is a jeep for Mars. Yeah, so this is my highlighter collection. For some reason I thought that I have more highlighters, but it looks like I was wrong. Maybe that's a good thing because I have more coming. For all of you Lithuanian subscribers, keep watching my videos because tomorrow I'm filming another Lithuanian vlog. And then we will see. I think I'm going to start vlogging in English as well just to see how it goes besides the Lithuanian vlogging thank you so much for watching I hope you like my Arabic makeup today as well bye oh don't forget to subscribe follow me on Instagram b.eg my personal account Egle Gil uh, Facebook b.eg as well and yeah that's it bye